Right, <clears throat> right, sorry. Hello and welcome to this video, which is going to be about hills and cliffs in under 10 minutes. Now we can go about doing them and uh, in campaign cartographer. Now, principles of the hill is that there is a ground upon which there stands a hill, right? So we start off with uh, the ground and we draw something that looks something like this. Seems like. Don't be alarmed, by the way, about the background here and, and my watercolor-like uh, environment. It, it is intimidating, perhaps, but this basically works in your uh, bog standard dirt uh, CC3 or uh, DD3 uh, dirt bitmap background uh, field one as well. So we've got the ground and surroundings. The principle here now is that you add something that is brighter than the surroundings to said patch of ground. 18. Let's go up to 180. So we draw that shape, like so. Brighter, darker, closer to the sun, further away from the sun, sunny side. Let's add also a shady side, the side that isn't covered by uh, the, the sun. And yes, something like that. This one goes to my designated hill shade uh, sheet. I have one. So there it is. Just making its way uh, up towards the, 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 the sky above. Um, very easy technique and, and again if you don't have this particular uh, background set up uh, again you could just on, on the regular uh, dungeon designer uh, uh, grass bitmap uh, feel um, add a sheet with a with a monochrome let's make it white why not uh, draw a white blob and then you turn turn up the transparency there or turn down the opacity rather to to levels where the background texture shines through and also there's a patch of something brighter of the same tone of color right so in that scenario this thing here would be something that was white sitting atop uh, the, the the green of the, the, the background there or the the graphs right so that's it for hills cliffs uh, is uh, pretty much the same type of tool in my case you might decide for something else in your particular map environment uh, it, it is based on on the principle that there should be three shapes um, or three distinct colors at least but not necessarily three shapes but uh, it, it that's the number of layers uh, that comprise uh, the cliff it goes from dark to mid-range to bright and if again these are settings which cater to this very background of mine so uh, yeah if it looks whack then adjust for for, for that that's the goblin path. Uh, goblins need to have access, of course, to the to the canyon below. Yeah, it looks like something out of Diablo series, I guess. I go from one level to the other on there. So there, the the first uh, sort of layout of where the the, the cliffs are going to be. So the brighter uh, section that follows is going to be striped using the adding uh, uh, endpoints and starting points, or nodes rather. Uh, which of course create this sort of bacon-like, or tiger stripe, which I prefer. Uh, tiger stripe, uh, which was a lovely camouflage pattern off from like the 1960s and 70s, popularized by sort of like elite commando dudes, I guess, in certain parts of the world. Um, and what it does, of course, is that it makes it basically impossible to tell at this point which came first. Was it the, the bright background with added darker polygons individually? or And thankfully, rather than spending a lot of time thinking and making active decisions, the only active decision I'm making now is not going too much out of bounds as, as, as far as the uh, uh, underlying sort of layout patch is suggesting. Right. So 
So that's it. Uh, that's all the active stuff going on in my mind. The rest is just frantically going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And it may seem like a waste of time, considering Bob Ross would have loved that one, by the way. Uh, it is going to be an, an, an uh, uh, seem like a waste of time because I'm covering up patches that were there just moments ago, right? And again, this is going to be the end result. This is how you decide to place the, the polygons. And it would be impossible if you were to start thinking actively how to put them there. You, you would lose hours and hours and hours of, of valuable daylight time, I think. Or night. Midnight oil. Lamp oil. And such. So Bob Ross would love that, I think. I'm going to keep it just because. Now, Hills taught us that if it's brightly uh, brighter, uh, if it is of a brighter tone than the surroundings, then it therefore must be uh, closer to the sun. So we go up from 115 here, I think, to uh, a nice whopping 116. <laughs> so there's a difference in height, which can be sort of emphasized using a slightly brighter color for the top side. You will have to of course decide for yourself what is the ground zero as far as the elevation is concerned on your map, but subtle, but but it's there. Um, oh right, we're missing something. We're missing the shadow. The shadow proper, so it won't be tucked into the sort of like uh, discrete domain of the, the, the hill sort of just a road bump really. Um, no, it is going to be very sharp and very nice and just enough transparency to not block anything beneath it. So there it is. Hill meet cliff. Cliff meet hill. Yeah, let's uh, introduce a third friend just because we're in the we're, we're on a streak here with with uh, not too much time spent after all doing all that and there's no stopping it of course in terms of creating big old hills with some rather let's make this a, a big ass thing then. Right. Oh, that was a bit too sharp. There we go. Right. So on top of that, there was a there was a ridge, which probably shouldn't be there, but looking like that. But you know, we got uh, what we wanted: hills, cliffs. Nice, uh, and it took very little time. Actually, sorry, Bob Ross, I'm going to have to do away with that one because we want to showcase how you can erase things on the sheet using the color key uh, effect. Check it out. This is a great sort of in, in internal uh, uh, deletion uh, or masking uh, tool. So oh, there we go. Uh, slightly more dirt there, but um, yeah, that seems uh, seems okay. Let's print and sell and whatever. Bye.